what's up everybody back with another herbal reactions of course man and we're here about to watch um outlander episode six you already know man what's up man and i'm about to be eating some watermelon yeah we're about to do that you know i still got my herbal you know but yeah <clears throat> I, I just want to see how the hell she's gonna get back if she's gonna get back you know let's see how this gonna go how this is gonna go. let's just get started let's get started commander will wish to speak with you uh -oh. presently in residence at the inn at brockton will you accompany me well if the lady goes i'll go very well then oh so she's about to meet the one dude that uh try to do some inappropriate things to her. In going by my own choice, I still felt a heaviness leave my breast. And for the first time since I passed through the standing stones, it might be called Redcoats instead of Tommies. But they were still the British Army I'd been a part of for six long years. Six long years? Operating ...to be looked upon with sympathy and respect, instead of hostility and suspicion. You lived there for six years? too well what Dougal was feeling, but for Dougal it was now enemy territory, and he was the outlander. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Huh, I wonder where this is going to take them to the one dude that was trying to do the inappropriate stuff to her. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I was just saying that because, like, when you, um, what, what is the, the thumbnail to this shit had that guy and he was doing something to somebody. I don't know. I bet. My lord, may I present Dougal Mackenzie, war chief to the clan Mackenzie and brother to its mayor. You have the honor of meeting Brigadier General Sir Oliver Lord Thomas, Knight of the Bath and commanding officer of the Northern British Army. War chief, eh? Wow. I'll say this for you, you look the part. A fine... That's like, that's like heavy duty respect. Please you, but for the informal, you can call me Chief McKenzie. But you meet as a war and bicker, leaves us error for each other as equals till you can. So tell me, from one laird to a... Mostly <clears throat> trying to embarrass the last, so you're just an arrogant wee smirk. <laughs> you know to whom you speak. Not your words, sir, or I'll have you. You pull that name and we'll see who plays who. Dougal. Lieutenant, enough. You're both behaving like children. Yes, yes, quite right, quite right. But the lady's sense of propriety puts us all to... <laughs> sense of propriety. <laughs> My word, madam. If I were brave enough, I would commission you a colonel in one of my regiments. You do know how to order men about. Very she. So she's gonna become a queen. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's been a delight meeting you, but I'm afraid the venison is losing its heat. I would ask you to join us, but as you can see, no room. Beastly, sorry. Ill-mannered people. Well... You have something, they don't. Better figure that out. Come to an agreement. 
but knowing humans, they always want more. I must say, Mr. Feature, you've had the most mesmerizing adventure. Hmm. I would be forever grateful. Trifle. You have my word on it. Well, no. I don't know. I will have a little bit more wine. Mm. I believe we'll all join you. Only a brief journey would take me to the stones at Craig Nadoon and a chance to return to my own time. A chance. A chance indeed. May they be uneventful. My lord, are you aware that at this very moment... Are we under attack, sir? We are not. You're putting the claret at risk. I suggest you step outside and rid yourself of half a league's worth of dust. Well, Miss. You must protect the claret. I've seen you before. Not I I know I've seen him in this show, but I've seen you in something before. Am I mistaken, or do you two know each other? Well, for a moment there, the lady did look familiar. I had the same exact experience. Unusual. I've seen you in something. That's going to bug me. <clears throat> Chum of Oxfordshire. Captain Jonathan Randall. One of the men, sir, he's in a bad way. He's downstairs. We've sent for the surgeon, but no one is sure of his whereabouts. I'll go. I've told you I've medical experience. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Still, I'd feel better if you made yourself scarce. I'm fine. Stand aside. Remove this bench. When the Germans surrendered, I thought. Oh God. But it seemed as though I was condemned to dream about yet more young men maimed for life on the battlefield. This arm's going to have to come off. You can have a line of my short sword if it helps. I sharpened it myself yesterday. It has to do. I'm going to need to use something as a tank. You're not going to faint when I begin to saw. I've stayed awake through worse. <laughs> Grab his knees. You, take the shoulder. Oh, him down his throat if you can. Right. Bite, Private. Bite until your teeth crack. Ooh. 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 You know, in a moment like that, you know, just take my life. Just take the life. <laughs> nah. In fact, from saving lives, he's off hunting rebels. Not that he'll find it. If he's seen him on a horse, he would be lucky to stay in the saddle. Please, try not to speak, Captain. The barbering skills aren't up to shaving a moving target. I haven't been pampered like this since I was called up. I should hope not. I'm the only one allowed to pamper you. I don't want to forget it. Ah! Oh, you're holding a, a blade to my throat. Mm. Two hundred year old razors certainly get its edge. It's not just the blade, it's the beautiful hand that wields it. Come here. That's probably where I remember him from. This! It's supposed to rain today. I hope it does. I love the rain. You got him. I'm sorry, Captain. On my life, it was an accident. On your life. Oh. Sit down. Ah. Oh. Needs a steady hand. Otherwise, he will never hit the target he aims at. You control your nerves. Your nerves do not control you. My man, don't leave a beardless boy. <laughs> I 
I prefer to work on a blank canvas. It uh, makes one more able to mark the progress of the damage inflicted. Dude. Jacob. Are you scared? I'm just afraid. I'll free stiff before you're done talking. I will break you. That 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 worth at least five freaking uh slashes, but he ain't gonna take five slashes off. Have you ever seen a man scourged, Adam? It's never pretty. And the thought of the whip coming down across that pitiful raw flesh. Made my stomach flutter and my legs shake. So why did you do it? Hmm? You can still see it, can't you? I did. <clears throat> I had intended to pace myself. A hundred lashes is fatiguing to the up. Yeah, I bet. See, I, I got a whole different type of uh, reaction to that because, you know, Again, God, boy refused to cry. my ancestors. Wonder, did he have to stir me to pity? If he did, he was sadly mistaken. I was hurting him. I bet you could feel it. I could feel it. She judder. Up my arm, exploding into my heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The boy would not beg for mercy. Oh. That's crazy, bruh. I can feel that on my back. Blind fools. I think all they could see was the horror. I... You sick. You sick. The things you've done. They're gonna show it. They're going to show it. That boy and I, we were creating a masterpiece. An exquisite, bloody masterpiece. The truth carries a weight that no lie can counterfeit. I promised that I would reveal myself to you. Yeah, you freaking sicko. You think me a monster, no doubt. Yeah, you're a little bit past a monster, bruh. Probably a demon. The fact that you care what I think gives me some hope yet for your son. It would be pretty to think so. No, 
you can't. It is not too late to win back your humanity. You can choose to be the man you wish to be. Yeah? Do you think it possible that one day I might gaze upon my own reflection and not be filled with loathing? A man with your insight and self knowledge can do whatever he wants. Don't tell him that shit, bro. Blackjack Randall. You can make a fortune betting against that. Perhaps I should begin by having you escorted to Inverness. Please. <laughs> I've made you happy. Made everybody happy. Happiness? Beginning, perhaps. I agree. You know, you probably gonna be sorry if you touch that rock and it doesn't do nothing. <clears throat> this is Beecham and I. <clears throat> I require your assistance. Captain Ryan, you have my deepest gut. <clears throat> Damn. I dwell in darkness, madam. And darkness is where I belong. I need no sympathy from you, and you'll get none from me. One way or the other. Knock the wind out your ass. Corporal, have you ever kicked a wall? Sure. Wow. Thought she was gonna go home free. That's where I lied to myself. Kick her. <laughs> I said kick her, milk salt. Kick her! <laughs> if I change you from an English woman to a scrub. Into a Scot. Mm. And the only way I can do that is for you to marry one. No, absolutely not. I, I cannot do that. Would you rather go to an English prison? So I'm to marry you. Not you. Not him. The the boy. I must admit, the idea of grinding your corn does tickle me. But it's not myself I'd be nominating for the position. Then who? Besides, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to that mad bastard Randall? Yeah. Surely a young man like yourself. Why isn't there someone else that you're interested in? Uh, am I promised? <laughs> no. No. No, I'm not much of a prospect for a wife. I mean, I've nothing more than a soldier's pay to live on. And there's minor difficulty of the price in my head. No father wants his daughter married to a man who might be arrested and hanged any time. <laughs> Do you ever think of that? So that's it then. Damn. As far as you're concerned, just start the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever suits you. Well, doesn't it bother you that... What? I'm not a virgin. It doesn't bother you that I am. Or I can one of us who came what they're doing. What? What? How the hell you gonna get home, bruh? This has seven seasons, and the seventh season is just came out not too long ago. Or what day is it? Or it comes out Friday or something like that. She getting married? The hell?
Don't tell me how she gets home. I don't even know if she's going to get home. I think she's going to get there at some point. Seven seasons. Oh, I like, you know how when you watch like shows, you can tell where something's going to go. Yeah, I can't tell where this shit's going to go. I don't even have like a, okay, I could, I could, I could try some. So they're going to get married. Then Dougal, he's going to come up and be like, yeah, now you can't leave because you're a uh, Scottish now. So, if you leave, we can hold you for treason and all this other stuff. And uh, Or, <clears throat> they get into war. I don't know. At this point. I don't know, at this point. <laughs> but I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. Or tell me what you want me to watch next. And if you want to support the channel, please. Go in the description and click that link that says Orion in the Green Flash and um, pre-order my book, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching. Deuces.